Once you have removed the valve from the blast machine, take it to the bench where it is easy to work. The first thing to do is to remove the silencer. To start, remove the manifold. Take a socket and remove the 3 quarter inch nipple from the top of the manifold. Often the manifold can stick with the accumulation of dust and grease, so you may need to loosen it with a soft headed hammer. The manifold will then come off. Remove the gasket. The first thing to check is the inside of the manifold. This takes all the air and grit which escapes and can often wear very thin. If it is worn to an unacceptable level then it is best to discard the manifold and replace it completely. The next task is to remove the top cover and to do this you need the 6mm Allen key which is available in the RM28 repair kit. This kit contains a peg spanner, a 6mm adapted Allen key, two paper gaskets, two C-cup seals and the O-rings for the pistons. Now loosen the socket head cap screws in the top of the valve. The top cover can stick so loosen any grip with a soft headed hammer. This will then reveal the rubber diaphragm which holds the exhaust air in the machine. Take off the rubber diaphragm and check for any signs of wear. If it is worn, discard it and replace with the new one which is available in the RM28 repair kit. The next stage is to remove the top section of the valve which is the exhaust section from the bottom section of the valve which is the inlet section. You will need the specially scorn off allen key to get inside and remove the nuts. Once loose you can remove the nuts by hand and the valve should separate. Discard the paper gasket and upon reassembling use a new one from the kit. The top section is the exhaust section and to get to the pistons you must use the peg spanner provided. Insert the pegs into the dimples and using the allen key loosen the sleeve from the piston. We use a 6mm socket head cap screw as these are shorter, only 16mm. To remove the piston, remove the sleeve and push out the piston with your thumbs. Check the condition of the cup seal. If it is in any way split, remove it and replace with a new one from your kit. Check the piston itself and that there is one O-ring on it. If the piston is heavily scored, you may have to discard it and replace it. If there is only light scoring, take some memory tape and smooth out the scoring. It can now be reused. To remove the inlet piston, remove the bottom cover. Discard the paper gasket and use a new one upon reassemble. The inlet piston comes out in a similar way to the exhaust piston. Take the allen key, but this time place on the inlet piston. There is a hole in the stem of the inlet piston. Now take a Phillips screwdriver, brace the piston to stop it from turning and loosen the 16mm socket head cap screw. Remove the sleeve and as before check the cup seal for any splits or wear. If it is worn, discard it and replace with a new one from the repair kit. You can now push out the inlet piston from the valve with your thumb. If it is stuck at all, take a wooden shafted hammer and just drift it out. Do not use anything metallic on aluminium valve parts as you will score them. Now inspect the inlet piston. 
This one has two O-rings. As before, check for any scoring. Heavy scoring, you will have to discard it. Light scoring, you can smooth it out with an emery tape. Finally, do check the body of the valve for any scoring which is caused by abrasive dust. If the body is very worn and badly scored, then we are afraid the only thing to do is to discard the valve and replace with a new one. To reassemble, put all new O-rings on the piston. Slide the piston in and brace it through the hole with a screwdriver and replace the sleeve. Using one of the 16mm socket head cap screws, tighten it while checking the cup seal is not pinched in any way. Check the inlet piston using your thumbs. It should move freely within the valve. Using the same method you can replace the exhaust piston. Hold with the peg spanner and again using a 16mm socket head cap screw. Now tighten the screw. With the new gasket in place you can now put the two valve parts together. If you are unsure of which way they go, it is socket head cap screw to socket head cap screw. Now place the inlet section on the top of the exhaust section. Replace the bottom cover with a new gasket and with a new diaphragm replace the top cover. Now secure using the 25mm socket head cap screws and tighten firmly. Now place the manifold on top, remembering to replace the o-ring. This is just an interference fit. Replace the nipple 3 quarter inch BSB. and finally refit the silencer. The valve is now ready to remount onto the blast machine.